Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I decided to make a little voiceover on these squat sets. Uh, I will talk later on this video into the camera, but as I was editing this video, I noticed that my squats are not very deep now. And they are deep enough, I think, I would argue, because there is the 90 degree in the legs. You can see it's about 90 degrees. But I just wanted to address some things that I saw while editing this, because, you know, I haven't filmed myself doing squats much at all, ever. So now I'm seeing myself doing squats. And in the beginning, you can see the 60 kilos. That one I actually... When I bring it to touch the safety bars, that is actually where I used to squat when I went to the gym, in the public gym. Uh, I wasn't using safety bars when I was in the public gym because I always thought if something happens, I can just yell and shout at someone to help me. And also there was bumper plates in the public gym. So if I dropped the bar onto the floor, the floor would have been fine. So now that I'm training alone in my home gym and I don't have bumper plates, I have the steel plates that would definitely break the floor. I have been using the safety bars. But with the safety bars, there's a couple of things. For the safety bars to, you know, I have failed a max attempt in the squats before in my life. And that time my safety bars in the public gym were so low that I had to like really go super low with the weight. I was failing the rep, I was failing the squat and I was just sinking deeper and deeper and I was thinking the goddamn safety bars are never gonna catch the weight because they were so low. I had to really go ass to grass with the weight. So that sort of traumatized me a little bit. And um, that's why the bars in this video, for example, are not super deep. Uh, but the biggest problem with the safety bars in my squat track is that they are so goddamn short. And I just can't squat right in front of the rack comfortably. Like, I don't feel comfortable squatting super close to the rack. I always feel like the bar or the weights are gonna hit the rack. So, I actually wish that my safety bars were like at least half longer than they are now. So they would be like one and a half times the length they are now. So I could go further back when I back away from the rack with the weight on my back. If the bars were longer, I would feel more comfortable squatting with the bars. So now what I noticed that happens here, what I have noticed squatting, but now when I watch myself, I really notice is that I am avoiding the safety bar so much that I'm not going deep anymore. And I just it just looks so weird to me to squat at 90 degrees instead of squatting ass to grass. So that's one thing I wanted to mention in this video. And next time I think I will just... I think I will not use the safety bars next time, but I will put some of the you can see the square padding in the background that I use as a platform for my deadlifts. I think next time I'm gonna position those behind me so that if I had to drop the weight on the floor, the floor would not get destroyed. And I will just try to not go to failure. So anyway, that's all I wanted to mention in this one. Now I will actually talk in the video itself. So here's the problem that I'm having. I have now done 10 reps with 60 kilos, 10 reps with 80 kilos, 5 reps with 100, 5 reps with 100, 5 reps with 110. And I want to do two more sets with the 110. And then I was thinking, yeah, but should I do after that more with the 100? Like an AMRAP, as many reps as possible with the 100 kilos. And then I realized, that's gonna fuck up my legs really fucking bad. 
and I have to run a 10 kilometer run tomorrow. Got to run a 10K tomorrow in the morning. So I realized, no, I shouldn't do more squats. I should only do the two more sets with the 110. So I will maintain my strength and not overdo it. You see, here is the thing. When I feel like I'm doing only a little bit, a little bit of training in the gym, I feel like a lazy pussy. But then I have to realize that I'm also running. That's the difficult part about doing the hybrid workout. And that's why, you know, when I'm done with the marathon in September, I will only run five kilometers once a week as maintenance after that. And all the other time I will focus, all the other training time that I'm now using for running, I'm gonna use in the gym. So I have to remember that, to keep that in mind that just two more months, two more months, then you can train more in the gym. Uh, it could be that I'm going to do deadlifts on Monday. The squats and deadlifts in one day is pretty hardcore, to be honest. And like I said, I'm going to run a 10K tomorrow. So do I want to do deadlifts in addition to the squats today? Maybe not. The last time I did squats and deadlifts was last Monday. So if I do deadlifts next Monday, it's still going to be doing them once a week, which is enough for maintenance. And then when I'm done with the run, I can do everything twice a week and actually have games. All right, so I only filmed the first set with everything. Uh, so I didn't show the second set with the 100 kilos, but it was obviously, as, as expected, way easier than the first set. Now with the 110, the second set was actually more difficult than I expected. I did not film the second set. What you saw there was the third set, but it was low bar. So I wanted to film it because it was low bar. And as expected, low bar was again way easier to move heavier weight than with the high bar. <sighs> really the only issue with the low bar that you saw there is that my technique is still kind of shit. So when I go down with the weight and get up with the weight, it feels like my body, I'm sort of searching for that perfect position with my body, with different parts of my body even. It's a bit hard to explain, but it's like, I'm not as tight as I should and could be. And I guess, you know, a belt would, would help a little bit with that, but it's not just about the belt because those are my knees, my ankles, my hip, everything feels like I'm sort of searching for that perfect spot. And still the low bar is way easier than the high bar. So anyway, I'm gonna do some deadlifts now. Not too many because like I said, I'm gonna run the 10K tomorrow, so it's gonna suck this rate already. <laughs> so uh, with the 110 kilos, like I said, the low bar, 
I felt like I could have done more reps or I could have done more weight. But I have to be patient and do that after the marathon. After the marathon, I will try to get into doing reps with 120 kilos so that I can start attempting a one rep max. My one rep max max ever, my biggest one rep max ever with the squat has been 140 kilos, which is really sad because my bench is 125 kilos. So yeah, I am the ultimate chicken legs gym bro who has always enjoyed doing bench way too much compared to the legs. But uh, I'm just gonna do a couple of deadlifts to warm up and maybe, I don't know, two or three sets with the actual training weight. You'll see after this clip. Oh. All right, so what you saw there was my grip starting to slip in the second rep. 
you know, the best I've done with the 150 kilos without straps or mixed grip or hook grip or anything like that with the uh, double overhand, just normal grip, so to speak. The best I've done is three reps. So now when I get under three, so I get like one and a half, like you saw there, or two or something, it feels disappointing. But granted, I don't do any grip work. I don't do any grip workouts. The only grip workout I do is the deadlift. So I guess I should do something for my forearm, forearms. Now I'm gonna wait for like eight minutes and I'm gonna use the straps. Um, I don't, I'm not doing mixed grip right now because I don't really care. Uh, the mixed grip puts me in an awkward position where I feel there's a higher chance or higher risk of injury for me personally. So that's why I don't want to do any of anything too risky now that I'm training for the marathon. So I'll just put the straps on in like eight minutes, have a proper long break. So it's going to help with recovering for the next attempt. And I think I'm going to do five reps with the straps and that's going to be it. That's that's enough for me right now as I'm trying to just maintain my strength. I haven't done any PRs with the deadlifts for a long time now. So after the run, one of the things I would be most interested in is to train deadlifts more to get to a place where I could attempt a new PR in the deadlifts. So let's see after that. But it's, the marathon is two months from now, so it's going to be a long time until I do any PR stuff in the gym. So anyway, now I'm just going to film the last set with the straps. And then that's everything for this video and for this workout. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, let me know. If you don't enjoy these videos, let me also know. I have no idea what people think about these videos. Because I don't watch myself. I only watch these videos when I edit them. But not afterwards. So I don't know how people perceive me. So let me know. Somehow. Some way. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Bye bye.